moved from meeting fortnightly to weekly, keeping the meetings to around an hour or so means it's not too tiring. Uh, and with more meetings than there's been study material for, we've gone out and found more videos and Bible studies from New Wine and the Bible Project, for example. Uh, initially, I was slightly apprehensive about hosting the group every week, but seeing the way it's brought us together as a supportive community has made it highly rewarding. Uh, I was hugely encouraged by a note one of the members put in their Christmas card saying how much they look forward to the meetings, and in fact, they're the highlight of their week. We've been able to share together in all our challenges and joys with bereavements, uh, family health issues, homeschooling challenges and technical meltdowns going on. So our prayer time's been really valuable. We've also been able to support each other in practical ways, doing supermarket runs when families have been self-isolating. Give it a try. No two groups are the same, so visit a few and see which you feel most comfortable in. I've been part of a small group for um, many, many years. Meeting on Zoom over this past year has been a real blessing. Being able to discuss um, the study that we're doing and read the Bible together and pray together has been absolutely crucial. We've all had difficult times in our group. Um, inevitably, everybody has. But because we know each other so well, we've been able to support each other um, and, and laugh together. And I think we've all really felt the benefit of that, perhaps even more than when we were meeting face to face in each other's homes. Always, right from when I first went to Alpha, I felt that the small group was my, my immediate church family and it's kept me going over so many hard times. So I would encourage you to, to feel nurtured and blessed yourself. Grown Leaders is a 10-month Christian discipleship and leadership course, and we've been running it at Holy Trinity Claygate now for the past 13 years. The vision for Growing Leaders is that if we grow Christian leaders, we grow churches and increase the impact that Christian leadership can have on every sphere of life. Over 150 people of all ages from Holy Trinity Claygate have already completed the course. The 2021 course has just begun and with lockdown restrictions, like everything else, we've had to head on to Zoom. I'm passionate about growing leaders. It had a transformational impact on my life, giving me real clarity on how God is calling me to serve. For many, God calls them to take up new leadership roles or even start new ministries. And for others, it's simply given them a godlier perspective on their home and working lives. But I give thanks for growing leaders and the ways in which God has been at work in it and through it at Holy Trinity Claygate and beyond. Discipleship is a journey that each and every one of us is called to go on. Each of us go on a different journey because we all have unique gifts and callings from God. But it is not something we're called to do alone. It is something we're called to do in the company with the support, help and encouragement of others. And also to be a support, help and encouragement to others as well. Discipleship has not been uh, as easy as perhaps we would have liked over the last year or so with not being able to meet together in person for much of it and at the moment. But the call for our church in 2021 and for you is to take that next step in your journey with God. So if you're not connected, take that next step. Reach out and we can put you in a small group. There's also Bible study groups, Kintsugi Hope groups, Alpha will be happening and Growing Leaders is going on at the moment. And when we can meet all together, we're going to do another one of our 40 days of discipleship programs, giving you each the opportunity to take the next step on your journey with God. <laughs>